What's up y'all? Alvin here and I'm back with another one of my super easy to tie fish catching down and dirty guide flies. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so this one is another one that I did not create. Uh, something I saw somewhere or something similar. And uh, basically it is just a rabbit strip crawfish. So real similar to tying a leech, but with lead eyes and two legs instead of a single tail. I like this one this time of year when the water temperature starts to drop. Uh, we do a lot of fishing down deep slow and low we like to call it and this guy works great for that so like the rest of my guide flies this one is really easy to tie <laughs> basically three materials a hook this is the hook we're using today that gamagatsu gamakatsu i always say gamagatsu uh, B10S stinger hook, uh, tying this in a size one. You could tie it in uh, smaller, larger, you know, but size one's what I got on hand. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need is some type of lead eyes. I, I got these gold ones, it doesn't matter. You can use black. You can kind of tailor them to the color of the fly if you like. Um, the other one I showed you is black, but I also like to tie them in olive. Uh, as well as kind of the traditional crawfish orange or brown. All right, so let's get after it. Oh, and of course we need some thread. Um, I'm gonna use black thread on this one, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's an olive fly, but most of the thread is gonna be covered up by the zonker strip. And uh, I actually kind of like a little bit of black thread to kind of contrast for the head. All right, let's go ahead and get after it. Gonna put the hook in there. And we will attach our thread. And you go ahead and put that uh, lead eye on there. Oh, just happen to have one laying around. We'll use that one. Like always, I'll wrap it one way, tweak the eye, wrap it back the other way. Okay, and then we'll do our figure eight wraps. Now, since we are fishing these right on the bottom, I do like to add a weed guard sometimes, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I attach my weed guards. Now, I like to use a pretty heavy mono for my weed guard, so I've got a 60 pound test right here. Uh, maybe a little bit overkill, but like I said, we're dragging these things on the bottom, and I like to have a pretty stout weed guard just to make sure I don't lose a bunch of them. So that one goes on fairly early in the process. And basically what I like to do is just tie that down to the hook shank, come all the way back. I actually go back past the eye of the hook, trying to keep the mono on top of the hook shank. And I like to wrap it around the curve a little bit because I think that makes it easier for that mono to follow the point of the hook. All right, so then I'm gonna wrap it back about to the point of the hook, and I'm gonna get my first piece of olive, and this is gonna be how I'm gonna make the claws. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. Basically, you can put the claws so that the hairy side of the rabbit strip is facing out, or you can put it so that it's facing in. Um, there's, there's always kind of a natural curve to this zonker strip. I, though, typically 
like to do it so that the fur is facing out. So I'm just gonna cut off this piece about the same length as the shank of the hook. That's gonna be my leg for this side. And I'm gonna tie that to the side of the hook. So something like that. All right. And if you want, you can put rubber legs on here for, you know, feelers or whatever, but I, I typically like to keep it pretty simple, just the rabbit strip and the lead eyes. So I'm gonna cut another piece and notice I'm kind of making sure that I've got the fur pointing this way. You know, I'm not using this end because then the fur wants to go that way and it, you don't, I don't think you get as nice of uh, action with those claws. So we're just gonna match that to the other side about like so. Then I'm gonna tie that once again to the side of the hook, side of the hook shank. Wrap it down. And now our crawfish has two claws. All right. Now, all we have to do to finish it off is to tie this zonker strip down and wrap it forward. Like so. I'll tie that down and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my thread up to the front of the dumbbell eyes. And then we're just gonna wrap this zonker strip forward. I kind of stroke the fur back as I move forward. Like so. Just making sure we cover all of that hook shank. Bring it up to where we tied our thread off in front of the eyes. Give it a couple of wraps. And then I'm gonna cut that zonker strip off. Be careful not to cut your thread. I think I did that in the last video. <laughs> All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this guy off. Now, you might have noticed that I still have my weed guard material here. We're gonna fix that now. Before we fix the weed guard, I do like to put a whip finish on there just to kind of make sure we got everything tied down. Okay, now, the way I like to do my weed guards is I'll go ahead and just take that mono, slide it through the vise jaws so that it's right next to that hook shank. Wrap it around the bend of the hook, put it through the eye of the hook, and then you just gotta figure out about where you want that weed guard, how tall you want it to be. So that looks about right to me right there. So I'm just gonna pinch it and you have to pull that mono pretty tight because you don't wanna clog up the eye of the hook too much. So pull that mono back as tight as you can and then just wrap right over it and give it a nice whip finish. And it is done. So what I'm gonna do now, after I clip my thread off, is I'm gonna grab that weed guard, pull it forward, and just clip it off underneath. Then actually flip it over, you'll see that that weed guard now is gonna cover that hook shank, that hook point. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Super easy to tie, down and dirty, 
fish catching guide fly. So like I said, you can make it fancier if you want. You can put uh, rubber legs on it. You can tie it in multiple different colors. Uh, olive, black, and orange are the ones we use the most. You can tie them in red, you can tie them in whatever color you want. It's a bunny leech with uh, bead chain eyes and two tails instead of one. So that's what makes it a crawfish. All right, y'all, give that a try. Let me know how it works. I guarantee you it'll catch fish. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.